our walk and talk is about to start in like two minutes. I'm gonna be out in a moment. Sorry, I'm a bit late. There you are. EPI days is like right around the corner, Julia. We don't have time to lose. <gasps> let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hello everyone uh, and welcome to the second day of the Helsinki and North API Days event. So it has been a wonderful uh, day yesterday with all the different um, tracks and speakers and workshops and every, everybody uh, really participating from the audience. Thank you so much. And I am just going to go briefly over some of the highlights and, and walk us through the second day agenda. And last, uh, well, yesterday we saw a lot of different tracks. We saw the public sector uh, keynotes from European Commission. Uh, there was a lot of talk about how uh, APIs should be discovered, are portals the best, are catalogs the best, or if there should be even AI used to discover APIs. And also there was this REST API profile, so what kind of uh, REST API should uh, be built and how that should be used as part of, of the development work. The European Commission had also launched last year, um, also in API Days Helsinki and other API Days events, this framework uh, for public sector APIs. And based on that framework and, and what other countries had been doing, uh, Finland is doing this API policies and guidelines. And we heard Mina Arayari from the Minister of Finance give a, a, a talk on that and explain what the process is and where the policies are currently going. Uh, then uh, we kind of came from that. There was some open source discussions together with APIs and, and also KPIs were discussed. And that kind of led us to the two stages that were coming next. So API and architecture design started with open source and using uh, APIs and, and these multimodal APIs and open source tools to collect the APIs and integrate them together. And then uh, there were different talks about who are you actually building your portals for uh, by Alan Knabe. And, and then there was these APIs and how did we get there? Like this back to the future talk <laughs> that was really good from Alan on stage one. 
So where did we come from? What was going on with SOA and the web services in the past and the integration patterns and how should we use those uh, learnings in the modern day REST APIs? And when, then we had a lot of API design discussions and we'll have that to today. Uh, so Christoph Troyan was leading us to the interaction oriented APIs and there was a lot of talk if that was like just another way of dealing with hypermedia and APIs or if there was something more to it and, and definitely there seemed to be more. So make sure that you look at all the uh, all these talks from the recordings after this event if you missed any. At the same time on stage two, there was a lot of talk about fintech and APIs and uh, Claire Barrett was moderating the track with Michael Salmoni talking about open banking and some of the surprises that happening uh, are happening there. Katrien van Giesel was, um, or Heisel, I think, was uh, uh, talking about the KBC uh, bank and, and how their API journey had went. And then I really uh, wanted to see this. I have to look at the recordings because I am so curious how Monica Likama is saving the planet through impactful APIs. So CO2 transmissions um, and APIs are somehow connected together. And then there was a FinTech and APS panel and, and these uh, workshops and roundtables. Microservices were really uh, raising up some questions during the talk. So I'm, I'm really glad that we have this. Um, round tables where you can actually um, ask even more questions and hear some of the experts talking. Then we went on to the business side of APIs, so API products and markets, and we had this really interesting combo of talks uh, where Zemek Kulik from Software AG was like talking about what the API economy used to be, or the 10 uh, version of API economies, and then uh, what it's going to be next and, and what is monetization and what is actually reverse monetization of APIs. And then Emmeline uh, from AWS was explaining about how to actually physically go to market with APIs, for example, using the AWS marketplace. And it was a really concrete talk, which kind of led us to the bigger picture. So if you had the SaaS software and the, the, some of the APIs, yes, but if you want to build a full ecosystem, how are you actually going to do that and why? And that we heard from Oli Kilpana and from Kone, uh, which is a people flow company, not an elevator company like we learned. And then we went on to product managers and, and uh, product management and embedded platforms, mobile software and such. So how can you make successful uh, journeys there using APIs and what level of, of uh, libraries and SDKs and APIs should you deal with to really make it a success story by Jeremy Glassenberg. Now in the mobility and APIs track, we had some of the interesting case stories this year from uh, the, the Amadeus and Lufthansa groups and then Mercedes-Benz Daimler case from Olaf Stelter. And then there was a nice panel discussion. I only got a sneak peek, uh, peek out of that. But if you guys who were there are in the audience now, please put up some comments. I know that Jennifer Riggins was doing an excellent job uh, tying everything together and making you guys talk in the panel. So eager to see that too in the recordings. And then we have today, some of uh, some continued sagas on, on these same topics, but also something new. So after these opening words, we'll have some keynotes. Uh, Eric Wild and me, we are going to go full on API maniacs. Um, I'll not explain more about what we are doing, but let's say that we are doing something a little bit different. Um, because we just wanted to have a bit of fun, but also talk about something serious. Uh, but then we'll let loose Pia Moilanen from Business Finland, and she's going to explain how the public innovative procurement speeds up APIs and platform-based 
research and development in private sector, I'm really looking forward to PS Talks because we've been doing a lot of things together and, and there seems to be a lot of things that the public sector can actually do to get the uh, get more out of the procurement processes and understand the better use cases for APIs and then also boost the private sector's development. Uh, but before we go to the keynotes, some words about the stage one and stage two. So uh, on stage one, we have now um, first after the keynotes, API management, API design and security talks. That's going to continue the whole day. Uh, so we have lots of different angles from serverless uh, to this childcare service for APIs. It's an interesting kind of viewpoint to it, but I think it has something to do with some kind of management of APIs. Uh, then we have Rethinking API Strategies by Asmo Orkbilainen from Friends and HIQ. And then the dark side of low-code tooling. So everybody's kind of hyping about the low-code tooling, but there seems to be something that we should be maybe looking uh, um, more carefully into. And that is going to be by Andre Ericsson from Encore. And then we have Stira and Tyke and Zero talking. So we have a little bit more uh, security topics, so policy as code, ideas around automating API management, and that's out of scope. That is an interesting thing. What is going to be out of scope um, when we are dealing with the APIs and the security related to APIs? Now, the stage two track is more on, on industry cases today. So we have uh, some uh, wholesale and retail and, and um, architecture or like building and construction industries. And then we have insurance case and some interesting discussions there. By the way, we have a all female panel coming up. Um, so I'm, I'm really glad about that. We have, uh, Claire there again, uh, doing excellent work on, on the women in APIs, like she's been doing all year. And then we have uh, some of the actives there, like Sophie Retard uh, and um, a few others. So stay tuned for that. Healthcare and APIs is going to be the last uh, kind of industry related panel there. So we have oncology and we have dental industry and we have COVID-19. Obviously, we couldn't have this event uh, this year without having at least one COVID-19 talk. So those are all coming up there and moderated by Vlad Stierbo. And then we again have workshops and roundtables by our sponsors. Be sure to check them because there's an excellent um, chance there to ask more questions and hear more details. And with that note, I would like to thank our sponsors. So we have Gold Sponsors, Auth0, Datastax, IBM Software, AG, and Tyke. And then we have Silver Sponsors, Datadog, and Bronze and Community Sponsors, Friends, Stira, and APIVold.io. And we couldn't have made this without you guys. So thank you again. Thank you for making it possible to offer this conference for free for our attendees. and attendees, please make sure that you go and check out the sponsor booths in the Hopin platform and that you attend some of their workshops and roundtables and use this time to ask questions about the products and services that all of us um, sponsors offer you.